What? Are you kidding me? It's time for another art lesson? Already? Welcome back, my little artists. Our afternoon online art learning project is going to be featuring painted sticks. These can make a gorgeous um, artsy bouquet that does not die and doesn't need to be watered. Or maybe you even take one that has a lot of little branches on it and lay it in the middle of a table for a colorful centerpiece. But the first thing that we have to do is we have to go locate some sticks. All right, welcome back my friends. So we've located sticks. I went for a little nature walk. And before I show you the sticks that I found, I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, the painted sticks that I have here in front of me. Um, these were actually branches that I saved from a big forsythia bush. And if you don't know what forsythia is, um, you'll see it a lot of times. I think it's already bloomed. I'm pretty sure it has. Um, they're bright yellow flowers and they're kind of, it's kind of a bushy, low um, tree, plant, whatever. I guess it's more of a bush. But anyway, um, I, we were cutting it back one year and they were just great sticks. So of course I had to keep some. But anyway, oh my gosh, Wally loves the ball. So, I first put a coat of white paint on them really quick. I actually used a spray paint primer just because I had it and I was running out of it. Wally, shh, shh, stop. Oh. But since I'm out of the primer, we're go ahead, gonna go ahead and use just white acrylic paint. But before you even paint, you don't have to do this step, but but I think it makes for a nicer surface, especially if you really want to keep these. Um, some of your sticks will have a little fungi growing on them if they've been sitting around. So you can take um, a sanding block or just some any type of grit sandpaper and give them a little sand, a little sanding. It makes the surface a little bit smoother, more smooth to paint on. Okay, and it'll knock off anything that might be growing on them. So after you do that, then you can go ahead and put your coat of white on. Now, the reason I put a quick coat of white and I let it dry is so that the colors will show up nice and bright. Sometimes some of your acrylic colors are more transparent, which you can see through them than opaque, which means you can't see through them. And we want our colors to be as bright and bold as possible. So you would paint your stick, let it dry. This is a great outdoor activity. And if you find a couple branches or a couple sticks that you like, do them at different times or do them all at one time, but you can work on them at different times while one is drying. This one, we'll start with, this one I just did paint splotch or splatters or patches. So I painted it white, let it dry. Then I started with a color and I just made some dabs. So I made dabs of color, washed my brush out, chose another color. So while this one's drying, you might decide to paint on your next stick. And when I painted these stripes, you're gonna notice they're not even. Um, you're painting on a bumpy surface. So it's gonna be really hard to get a nice, straight, perfect line. It's not supposed to be. This is from nature and nature's not perfect, okay? So I like the flat brush. I think it's easier to work with. If you wanna paint stripes, I would suggest using a flat brush and just kind of going around it in sections. And it's gonna get off kilter and it's not gonna match up, but you just make it match up by twisting it around, okay? And you could do a whole section. Maybe you painted, um, you would paint one whole stick hot pink and then you put black polka dots on it. Or you did um, an alternating. Maybe you did green and blue, green and blue for our Wear Academy school colors. The possibilities are endless. So it is your color palette. Okay, like I said, you can go patchy, you can do stripes, 
I really like this one because I'm a big fan of black and white, as you can tell. And I painted it all white first, and then I started doing some black sections, some stripes. I did some whole sections, you know, some whole um, twig parts growing off. I think it looks neat with my other sticks to, when they're together. Another fun thing you can do, and I would totally suggest doing all your bright colors and then going back with black. I think black really helps it pop um, just by adding a little bit of black here and there. It gives it that variety and some interest and it's such a dark color compared to all these bright ones that it, it really catches your eye. It gives that nice contrast in there. Um, so, with that being said, how do I make polka dots? Well, you could use a variety of things. You could use the end of a paintbrush if you wanted small dots. You could use, um, I even have a sponge. It's on like a dauber. It's a round sponge that I think probably came from a craft store, or Walmart, in the craft section. Use a Q-tip. And look at that, they even made like a little circle. So the possibilities are pretty much endless. You could, you could use, um, also, if you didn't have a Q-tip, you could use the eraser of your pencil. That works as well. But these look pretty cool together. And I'm sure any mom would love to have a bouquet of sticks for Mother's Day because I'm sure she would probably seal them with um, clear spray paint or a Mod Podge and keep them forever and ever. And I plan on sealing these when I'm finished with them and I'll stick them somewhere in our crazy house. So enjoy the rest of your Earth Day and I will see you tomorrow.